I've been absolutely fascinated with great white sharks since I was four or five years old. My upbringing was very much hearing about this elusive predatory fish and how amazing it is. So here at the Dyer Island Conservation Trust, we are situated in the perfect location to conduct marine research. And we have here fundamentally the marine five. So we have our whales, we have dolphins, penguins, sharks and seals. We focus a lot on white shark research. Um, my position at the Trust has been as a senior biologist for the last 10 years. And I've worked specifically on the movement ecology of great whites. So I often like to describe great white sharks as the Formula One vehicles here in South Africa in that they make these laps of Southern Africa. Their migratory behavior is absolutely incredible to see. So a Formula One vehicle, it does its four or five laps and then it needs to pit stop, change its tires, rest for fuel and go again. And that's exactly what this bay is for a great white shark. It's the perfect pit stop. Contrary to popular belief, great white sharks don't just approach boats for no reason. You have to give them an incentive. And the only way that we can actually get one to come to us today, even though they naturally aggregate here, is to put a mixture of fish oil into the water. We need the right shark that will come in and it will pass close enough in front of the cage and then you'll get a good look at it. But the difficulty is if we get a, a very shy or a timid animal because they're all different, they've got their own personalities. So you never know what you're gonna get. Cage diving ecotourism in South Africa is key in order to conserve great white sharks. If you take away these boats every day, I would be very worried about the health of the population of great whites because this is a very accessible location that anybody could come and illegally poach the sharks from. The second function that's incredibly important that ecotourism fulfills is that it's an educational tool. And what's wonderful about this operation is that the people go in the cage, they get to experience firsthand how magnificent this elusive predator is in its natural environment. And then they have a whole perception shift and they actually go away as a white shark ambassador. Fundamentally, cage diving ecotourism is keeping this predator, the great white shark, worth more alive than dead in the eyes of the South African government. We're not dealing with South African white sharks, we're dealing with Southern African. So that's different because they leave this bay and then they go to Mozambique and they migrate all into the Indian Ocean in areas where they're facing unprecedented threats from longliners, trawlers, you name it. In order to quantify the damage done and to help recovery of the stock, we need adequate research. And without the investment from the tourism and the percentage of the profits that's being channeled back into the research, it just wouldn't be possible.